Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Gina DeVecchio. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Take a look at that. The birds enjoying the coast right now. Lovely start to your morning. Pretty warm as well. We have lots of 50s near the coast, and then we have some 70s already inland. Uh, sunrise right now. Well, technically in 40 seconds in Salinas, <laughs> but getting a bird's eye view of that sun coming up as we speak. Oh, just a lovely sight. A few high clouds out there over the mountains. This is the view from Palo Escrito looking towards the east. I know we enjoy looking at the sunshine here, but those of you inland are like, ugh, the sun, gonna warm us up again. It's gonna be a hot one. 97 uh, was the high yesterday in Gilroy. That tied the previous record from 1982. Salinas broke the record of 81 with the high of 86. And then King City uh, was right around the record as well. Broke that at 96 degrees. And King City, I expect you to be in those mid-90s once again for today. Uh, these are yesterday's high temperatures. Look at that, 88 in Watsonville, 81 in Santa Cruz, 85 Big Sur. But today we have some clouds surging up from the south. So we have a little south breeze that really could play a role on temperatures in the northern part of the bay. So I'm expecting you to be a little cooler. Uh, could be over 10 degrees cooler, in fact. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. You can see those clouds already influencing temperatures in Big Sur. Those higher elevations of the mountains, those are sitting in that warm air mass, 70s, even 80s around Carmel Valley. Uh, but that cold ocean air is going to play a role today. So uh, pretty difficult when it comes to our forecast for the coast. But I'm telling you, it's still going to be hot inland. Uh, look at that triple digit heat for today. Tomorrow, those temperatures drop off. And then locally, we're going to be seeing much cooler temperatures tomorrow as well. Uh, but today, another hot one up in the bay, 90 degrees in Fremont, 69 for Half Moon Bay, though. And then I have dropped those temperatures for Santa Cruz to Capitola, uh, thinking that south breeze and those clouds could influence you. Of course, if they don't surge up, we could have another day near the 80s. Uh, so a lot of factors today, and one of those is also a lack of wind early that could warm you up in areas like Salinas uh, to start, but 81 today, so a little cooler near the coast. Uh, but still looking pretty nice. However, by the afternoon could see some clouds moving in and we are going to see more of that, that natural AC by tomorrow and into the first part of the weekend. And then looks sunnier for Memorial Day weekend, but we're gonna be sitting in a cooler air mass, which will actually bring some really comfortable conditions inland. I don't know, cool and sunny? Sounds pretty perfect to me. Not bad. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Gina. <laughs>